Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to create a blurred text animation in DaVinci Resolve 16.2.5. Inside your edit window, go to effects library, underneath toolbox select generators and go to find solid color. Left click on this generator and move it to your edit timeline. Right click on the solid color generator. A problem that we have with this particular edit is that we are not able to open this in the fusion window of DaVinci Resolve, where we can create our text animation. In order to do this, what we need to select is new compound clip first of all. Click create. Inside your media pool master bin, find the thumbnail for the compound clip which you have just created. In this particular example here, it is compound clip one. Left click on the icon which appears in the bottom right corner of the thumbnail of your compound clip to open up the clip attribute. This particular black solid color edit will play for five seconds in total on the timeline and each second will comprise of 30 frames. Right click on the compound clip and go to open infusion page. In your nodes panel, ensure that media in one is selected. Press shift and space. Go to find the text plus tool using the search box at the bottom. Left click once on this tool and go to click on add. Select the text one node which has appeared next to merge one. Ensure you are at the first frame of your animation 0, 0.0 using the box which appears underneath the timeline in your fusion window. Go to inspector on the side, underneath text and inside the styled text box. Type in the text that you wish to have appearing inside your edit. For the font I will use Open Sans and for the style I will choose Bold. Font color white. I want for the text size to be at its largest at the start of the animation. I will change the size to 0 0.3. Since the size of my text will be changing throughout my animation, what I need to do at this first frame 0.0, .0 also is to apply keyframe to the size property. Do this by left clicking in the diamond icon to the right of the size value. Adjust tracking to 1.6 so that the letters of your message are spread out. Throughout the animation, the letters in my message will shift closer together and therefore a keyframe needs to be applied to the tracking property also. Left click in the diamond icon, go to shading. At the very start of the animation, the text will be invisible. Underneath properties, set opacity to 0.0, .0 and ensure a keyframe is applied here also. Scroll down the inspector properties to softness. Click on the arrow next to softness, and set X to the maximum value of 20. Set a keyframe to this variable also. The softness X setting will apply a horizontal blur effect to the text that you have in your edit. Increasing softness Y on the other hand will make this blur effect vertical. I wish for the whole text animation to last for two seconds. As previously mentioned, the frame rate for this particular edit is 30, and therefore two seconds will comprise of 60 frames. About a quarter of the way in, I wish for the text to be visible. Using the timeline on the fusion window, I will skip forward to frame 15. And still in my shading properties, set opacity to the maximum value of 1.0. Note how when we change the opacity level, a keyframe setting is automatically applied to this property. Now skip forward to the frame on your edit where you wish for the animation to end. In this case here, I will go forward to frame 60. Under your shading properties still, reset the value of softness X to 0.0. .0. You can do this by left clicking on the small circular icon which appears underneath the black X line. And this will remove the blur effect added to your text. Scroll up in the inspector window, 
go to click on text. To have the text shrink as the animation is played, what I'm going to do here is reduce the size from 0.3 to 0.2. And now to make the letters move closer together, we need to reduce the tracking value to its original value of 1.0. Again, like we did with Softness X, we can reset the tracking value to 1.0 by left clicking once on the small circular icon below the tracking line. And the three remaining seconds on my compound clip should show the text in static form. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.